Well, good evening and welcome to the good ship Pit Pit. We are in Trinidad and Tobago and it's a little bit of a blustery day. I think we may be having some weather coming in. Anyway, as you can see over the beautiful blue waters and uh, the lovely mountain and jungle of uh, Trinidad, uh, that's where we are. Anyway, um, just got back from the market and uh, picked up some rather unique pineapple, which is exclusive to Trinidad. And what you may not know that uh, right here in Trinidad, they have one of the largest supplies of liquefied natural gas in the world. And that's quite a big uh, uh, chunk of their income, but they also do grow lovely pineapples. And you know, it's lovely and tropical and you know, they have great music. I think you can possibly hear the steel drums in the background. And yes, they're, they're very musical people. And you know, it used to be a British colony here. And big back and forth between the Spanish and the British. And the British had it, and now they have their own independence, which I'm all for. Anyway, we're going to make, because we're in the tropics, a really lovely tropical drink. And we're going to uh, throw all sorts of fun things in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these lovely fresh strawberries and then some of this really delicious pineapple that uh, we found in the marketplace. And, uh, you know, if you're going to be here, you might as well have pineapple. And uh, so let's do that. And uh, I think we'll put a little bit of pineapple juice in there. Now we're going to muddle this and extract all those delicious flavors. And just make it rather yummy. Mmm. Ooh. So I'm quite sad that I can't work on my suntan today. It's uh, a little bit frustrating, I have to say, but uh, who knows, maybe this uh, storm will pass through and uh, I'll have some sunbathing weather tomorrow. So we have our uh, strawberries and pineapple. Now we're going to put in a little bit of this uh, daughter chocolate liqueur. And I have no idea why we're putting this in, but I thought it'd be quite fun just to add a little bit of that lovely, rich flavor. And then we're going to take some of this absolutely wonderful Bacardi rum that was originated in Bahia de Santiago, which if you remember, we were there just a few days ago in Cuba. So we're gonna put in the Bacardi. Then we're going to get some fresh organic lemon juice. There we are. Actually a little bit more, I think. There we are. And then some good organic cranberry because we do want to support our, uh, our organic growers. And we're going to put some ice in this. There we are. I have to say the fishing here is rather good. You know, we uh, caught some lovely marlin this afternoon and uh, you know, we shared it with some of the, uh, the fishermen and uh, yes, we're gonna have some of that on the barbecue tonight, I think. We'll see what my chef comes up with. So then we're going to uh, take the top off that and then we're just going to pop that. There we go. Pour this right into this lovely, lovely fresh Trinidadian pineapple. And then we're gonna put in some delicious, delicious ginger ale and uh, ginger beer rather, I'm sorry. Then we're gonna stir this up. And you know, I've discovered that uh, with drinks like this, you can't really drink it out of a straw. So we're going to transfer this out of the fresh pineapple right into there. And look at that, perfect measurement. There we go, put a little strawberry on there for decoration. I'm gonna clean my sticky little fingers. And then we're going to see what this. That is absolutely darned delicious. With the coffee, I say, Pip, pip to a Bacardi and coffee liqueur and fruit and beverage. Mm. I might just cut it short here and go. No, I'm going to make another de beverage. Mm. Okay, now we had an onboard um, pet dog whose name is Trixie, and unfortunately, Trixie passed away just yesterday. So. We're going to develop a beverage called the Trixalicious. And 
you know, she was a boxer and a very fine temperament uh, of a dog. And um, so we're quite sad to see her go, but we're going to make a beverage called the Trixalicious. And we're going to incorporate some um, uh, peppercello and some Grey Goose vodka from France using fresh wheat. Um, well, I'm not using fresh wheat, but fresh vodka made from French wheat. And uh, they're very particular about that. I think they try to source as much organic wheat as they possibly can. And then we're going to put in some Cazadora's Reposado tequila. There we are, goodly amount of that. And then some orange juice, fresh organic orange juice. Let's pour some of that in. There we are. And then we're gonna shake this up. Mm. There we go. Get all those good flavors in there. Then we're going to put this right in here. Look at that. Perfect. I'm gonna take my little brass straw that I use and I think that Trixie would love the Trixalicious. It's a great refreshing drink with that um, Grey Goose and Peppercello and Cazadoy tequila. No. I say Pip Pip to that. And from the good ship Pip Pip in Trinidad and Tobago, Pip Pip. Oh yeah, this makes me want to dance, Mum. Hmm. Hmm.